Okay, pinch harmonics, squealies, that thing Zach Wild does. Everybody wants to know how to do them. Uh, I'm going to start off with something really simple. I use a really th fairly thick pick, actually. I use a Jim, Jim Dunlop Jazz 3. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's, excuse me, it's fairly thick. Uh, it's also really small. It's smaller than a standard pick. I'll give you an example. This is a standard pick. This is a Dunlop. There's a pretty big size difference. Um, I like these. I find they give me better articulation. I got better control over my pick. The other thing you gotta, for me anyway, the other thing I have to do if I want to play pinch harmonic is I have to really choke up on my pick. So there's almost no pick sticking out. I know it's a little hard to see on camera. Um, basically, I've got maybe two millimeters of my pick sticking out past my thumb, which is kind of tricky to see on camera, but trust me, I, I choke way up. To understand how to do pinch harmonics, you got to understand your natural harmonics and what tap harmonics are, so I'm going to go through that real quick. Basically, your natural harmonics are on the fifth fret, like your or seventh, twelfth, and so on up the fretboard. Um, if you realize where your natural harmonics are, which are just basically, if you were to break it right down, the string vibrates along a certain frequency. Um, where the natural harmonics rest is where the vibration of the string actually seems to come to a stop. If you get really good eyesight and you hit your string hard enough, you can actually see the stop points. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but that's what I call them. Um, it's a little tricky, but the short answer is basically the string stops on these harmonic points where the vibration is it doesn't actually vibrate so if you were to go directly above the fifth fret and strike the string really lightly with your well touch the string lightly with your finger and pick it you get the harmonic same as the seventh and the twelfth it's all based on the length of the string a tap harmonic is basically the same thing except now by a tap harmonic is where you would put your finger on a fret, like say on the A string on the third fret. So your natural harmonics now have moved, and they would move up three frets. So now instead of it being on the fifth fret, you'd go up three. So for five, it would be three. So it's right here. So if I go. It's the same thing, it's just because by shortening the string length by moving your finger to different positions, it moves where the harmonic is. It's still the same amount of frets up, but instead of being on the fifth fret, it would be up from here because I was on the third, it would be three frets higher. Using that same principle, pinch harmonics take it a step further, but instead of tapping it above the fret wire, you're hitting the spaces down here on the string where the vibration stops. So like on the third fret, and you'll notice that they sound slightly different. The reasoning behind that is I'm hitting basically the fifth, seventh, twelfth fret, except I'm doing it in this space here between my pickups. So you get that. If I go to the fifth fret, of course the harmonics move slightly. And that's, that's basically the principle behind it, like the theory anyway. So when you look at it, it's just a matter of as you shorten the string, and this is where people run into a lot of problems, is they'll hit a pinch harmonic on like say the seventh fret, and they'll go and they'll be like, sweet, I got it. And then they'll move down to the fifth fret and they'll hit it in the same spot and it won't sound, or it'll sound different. Um, that's where the big problem lies is that you need to learn where it is on the guitar as far as in this space, I'm trying to get some light here, between your pickups or between your bridge and your your fretboard actually, that the pinch harmonics lay. And it's based off of where your finger is on the fretboard. So if you're having trouble, that's why I keep telling guys, move your hand around a little bit and try doing the pinch in different areas, but keep sounding the same note. Once you find it and you get that, then you'll know that there's specific areas to hit them. Um, one of the keys that I found for myself anyway in making the pinch harmonics really scream is, sorry I jumped ahead, when you do a pinch harmonic you hit it with your pick 
and then you touch it, you touch the string to say on the harmonic the same way as you would if you were doing it over the fret wire, except you do it with the side of your thumb. You just gradually or lightly hit it at the same time you hit with the pick. I've been telling people for a long time that I do it, if you watch my videos you'll see I twist my hand a little bit. I, I do my pinch harmonics a little different. Um, I get a tritone type sound. I, when I learned to do them years and years and years ago, I was taught to twist your hand like you're turning a key. It's not that drastic, but it's the same motion. Um, what I started doing over the years is hitting it with the side of my thumb, but I also touch it with my index finger ever so lightly, so I'm getting, instead of hitting like one note here, I'm hitting one here, one here, and the one in the middle, so it's like a tritone. I get three notes. I don't always nail it. I always nail one or the other, which makes it a little easier. That's my way of doing them. The other thing you want to do is add some vibrato. Just that little vibration on the string. Uh, that's a timing issue. You want to hit the vibrato just after you hit the harmonic, not before. And the reason before that is if you hit it at the same time, you'll miss the, because you're changing the string tension when you do your vibrato, you're changing the length, technically. Um, it makes it 10 times harder to hit your pinch harmonics. So what you want to do is hit them, and then do the vibrato. Instead of doing it at the same time. Because it makes it a lot harder to hit them. You always want to do the vibrato just a split second after you hit the harmonic. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. That's really all there is to it. Um, it's just a matter of finding the right space on here with the harmonic sound and keeping track of where you are up here because you're changing your string length based off of where your finger is on the fretboard. <coughs> Excuse me. That's really all there is to doing pinch harmonics. It's just practice. It's simple technique. Once you get the hang of it, you can really start ripping them out.